but she still needs to get her legs sorted. So it's back to the Whiteley Clinic and laser surgery with Mr Mark Whiteley. I'm just marking the veins on the surface. It's only when he finishes marking her up that you get a real sense of Donna's problem. This lady's got three different veins coming from the groin down the leg that need to be lasered and one at the back of the leg. So what we're going to do, we're going to go into each of the veins in turn with a new radio firing laser and close each of those away. Tiny tubes called cannulas are pushed into her three biggest veins. These ports are where the lasers will be inserted. If they're not handled with care, lasers can burn the skin and damage eyesight, which is why patients like Donna have to stay awake throughout the operation. It means that they can tell us if they feel anything, and that means we can stop instantly. The patient can warn you that there's a problem. Once Donna has been tilted to drain excess blood from the veins, Mr. Whiteley prepares the laser. OK, everyone, goggles, laser on, please. We're burning the vein at about 700 to 1,000 degrees centigrade, which destroys it. But because it's surrounded by fluid and local anesthetic, the patient doesn't even know we're doing it. How's that feel? On the ultrasound, we can see little bubbles showing that we're getting a nice burning of the vein. For the next two and a half hours, the 1,000-degree laser burns away each of the veins, but this doesn't solve the whole problem. All finished. If we don't remove the baggy veins on the surface, they will end up getting little clots in them called phlebitis, which will be very painful and will look awful. Removing the dead veins is somewhat less high-tech and involves old-fashioned tugging and cutting. OK, Donna, we're all finished now then, so we'll just put some uh, dressings on and you can go and have a cup of tea, all right? Donna's had the veins in her vulva and legs treated, but there's still a long way to go.